Let's talk to our correspondent, Moyo Thomas, uh, who is joining me from Abuja for reactions from the election observers. Hello, Moyo. What is your reading of the reactions from the election observers? Okay, um, right behind me, right behind Right behind me is a situation room. And then earlier, I tried speaking with the EU observers. They told me they are still working on a statement. And my contact there also said they are actually in a critical meeting. So I would um, wait for the outcome of the meeting and then the statement they would um, issue afterwards. The AU observers and the ECOWAS observers say that um, they are not allowed to comment because this is an internal situation and that we might not actually be getting any comment from them. But um, would, uh, I'm actually following up on events with um, American Embassy and some other um, foreign organizations. Well, uh, well, since we'll be awaiting what the outcome of the meeting would be, but let us know, are they going to tarry uh, for a while or they will have to withdraw to their base, going back to their countries? Okay, if we draw inference from what happened in um, 2015, that the election was postponed by six weeks, only the EU stayed in the country for the whole period. So I, I don't know if this time around is going to be the same thing, but um, I, I would rather wait for the comment from them and um, the statement from them, and uh, we would know if they would wait for the one week or they might have to leave and come back um, by, before the 23rd. TBC News correspondent Moyo Thomas from Abuja, thank you so much. We'll get back to you.